Hey, what's up, wrestling fans? Kyle here. Um, want to give give my quick thoughts uh, on my experience of TNA's first uh, on the road live show out of the Impact Zone uh, here in Chicago. A uh, great, 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 great show. Um, awesome show. This would be the, I mean, just like I said, great show. Um, I'm not going to go into detail too much, uh, other than, uh, I mean, basically just great solid wrestling matches. Uh, the crowd was hot. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't care what anyone says, but to me, I think Chicago is the only wrestling city and wrestling fans that rivals New York. I think we're the only ones that, that, that rivals New York. And on top of that, uh, Chicago, we love our heels. We should be known as Heel City, uh, because just about every heel uh, that came out that came out on the show tonight. I don't know what it was like uh, television wise, but watching well, on television. But uh, being there live, we were cheering for all the heels. The only baby faces we cheered for were Hogan, and Sting, and Jeff Hardy. But everybody else we were cheering for uh, in, in terms of the, the heels. And Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle got a huge pop too, and James Storms. But um, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Bully Ray is one darn phenomenal heel. The guy is freaking good. Um, I mean, we were all cheering for for Bully Ray. I mean, they were a little booze pandering, but we were all cheering for Bully. Uh, we were cheering for all of Aces and Eights, and we know the rest. You know, Aces and Eights suck really, especially without Bully. Bully's the only thing that adds legitimacy to that faction now. But we were even cheering for them. Wes Briscoe, Devon, D'Lo, we were all cheering for them. Um, that was that was hilarious. We just we just like heels. Um, but I tell you, uh, Bully Ray is so darn good at what he does. One of the best heels. Um, during during the commercial break, um, during the commercial break, I went to use the, the the restroom. As I was coming out of the restroom, another guy was coming out with me. We actually get to pass Bully Ray, and as we're passing Bully Ray, as Bully Ray is going is going back backstage. The guy that was coming out with me goes and says, "Hey, bully!" He says, "Congratulations on your uh, on your match Sunday. Glad you're the world champ. Keep it up." This guy is so good at what he does and staying in character. Bully Ray actually stops and says, "Shut up, you little bitch!" and throws up his hand as if he's about to get ready to haul off and hit the guy. He stays in character. I mean, such a darn good heel. One of the best heels I know for a fact. I'm going to enjoy Bully's run. As world champion, um, I don't care what anyone says about that. Uh, definitely one of the like best heel, best heel right now in wrestling. One of the best heels in wrestling. Uh, Jeff Hardy got a huge pop, no doubt about. Jeff Hardy is he's their face. Um, got to see uh, AJ Styles, that was cool. Um, Mickey James, oh my God, seeing Mickey James like live in person, amazing. She looks amazing, hot. Uh, the referee who referees the, the knockout uh, matches, she looks amazing as well. So Cal Val, oh my God, I just died. Chrissy Emmy, uh, nothing but love. Um, you know, you know, regardless of what we think of Hulk Hogan, or you know how he is, that guy got one of the biggest pops of the night. One of the top three biggest pops of the night was to Hulk Hogan. Um, I mean, that guy is just—he's a brand. I mean, like I said, regardless if we love him or hate the guy, he's a brand, he sells, uh, you know, he, he, he's the epitome of this business. So, um, Hulk Hogan got one of the biggest pops. It was cool seeing Sting, it was the first time, saying my long childhood hero, Russell Live, that was awesome. Sting got another one, got one of the top three biggest pops of the entire night, that was awesome. Um, they, they all, they, they pre-taped. Next week's next week's show on Impact. I'm not going to spoil next week's Impact, but I will say this: due to the wrestling matches that we'll get next week, you will enjoy them. Uh, we got that. Uh, uh, if you see me next week, um, I'm in the fifth row. I'm in the fifth row behind uh, the announcers table. Fifth row behind the announcers table, and I'm sitting next to a girl. She's the only girl in my row, and I think like on that entire floor level that she's holding a green sign that says Party Hardy. If you look to your left of that girl, I think she's like Latina, if you look left to her, I'm sitting, I'm standing right next to her, and next to me is my brother, but I'm standing right next to that girl who's holding the green Jeff Hardy sign that says Party Hardy, fifth row, 
floor, on the floor on the floor level behind the commentators. So if you guys see me, that'd be great. Uh, other than that, um, let's see. I'll get to see uh, 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 the the pro wrestling report crew, Damian Nelson and David Hero. I saw them there. That was awesome. Awesome. Um, I will also upload some videos, some snippets of some stuff I did record at the show. I will upload on my channel here to, uh, here today and throughout the week because I record like a lot of junk. Uh, so we'll do that. And now, last but not least, on to the good stuff, which was stuff that I bought. So um, first off, I bought a t-shirt, Austin Aries. It's the front. On the back, it says, the greatest man that ever lived. Freaking awesome. Bought that. Then uh, I also got uh, Impact Wrestling uh, figure, Jeff Hardy, comes with the uh, TNA World title. Uh, I meant to get Austin Aries, but I, was, I don't know why I was thinking, like, I didn't get Austin Aries the time I got this. When I went back and finally changed my mind, like, oh, hey, I'll get an Austin Aries figure, they were sold out. Um, but, so, I'll get Aries, maybe, like, online or something, or next time they come to town, I'll get Austin Aries. But uh, this was the last one, so glad I got this when I did. And then on to the DVDs, I got uh, Slammiversary 2012, uh, this is TNA celebrating their 10th anniversary, it was a, de it was a decent pay-per-view, it wasn't bad. Destination X 2012, this is when uh, Austin Aries won the world title from Bobby Roode, awesome. And then last but not least, in my opinion, uh, one of the that's Bound for Glory it's from top to bottom that TNA's done in a while. Bound for Glory 2012. Austin Aries versus uh, Jeff Hardy for the world title. All of these DVDs, by the way, are two disc sets. Um, so, yeah, that's my experience. This is what I got. I hope you guys liked it and hope you guys look forward to some of the videos that I recorded. Um, uh, 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 that I've recorded. Hope you guys uh, will look forward to those and, and like those. Um, like I said, if Tina comes into your town, uh, definitely go because it was an awesome experience. Definitely made me feel like I was part of the show. Uh, if I could, if I could compare this to the last, say, like WWE house show I went to, which was like about three months ago, it's like SmackDown. This was much better than my experience at SmackDown. Much better. Um, I'm just basing this off experience. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the box below. Subscribe. Peace.